Picks up the first. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. The ball carrier. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. They'll run it with Jacobs, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Raiders add on to their lead. Daniel Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback at their own 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. Throwing again on second down. Bridgewater to the right side, and he's got more complete. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Bridgewater. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Brings up second and two. Looking to throw again on second down. Bridgewater. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 29-yard line. And again, it's Bridgewater. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Las Vegas, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for Carolina, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try.